It is very nice to greet you again. In today's video we will talk about the following. 2 essential things you should do after going no contact with your ex. Looking ahead, you need to have the right attitude and mindset. You must have the right skills and tools at your disposal. And the most important thing is that you must have a plan. In this video, we will talk about 2 essential things you should do after going no contact. I say essential because it is very important that you do them if you want your ex to come back permanently. After all, what's the point of getting your ex back if you can't maintain a healthy and satisfying relationship with him or her? What you do after going no contact is very important. What happens immediately after a breakup is usually a reaction. A reaction that arises from instincts, need, desperation, immaturity and sometimes a power struggle. But once you end the no contact rule, things are different. 1. Have the right mindset. Having the right mindset is the key part of getting your ex back. And it's something that many people overlook. Having the right mindset is important. And if you don't do it right, I can almost guarantee that you won't get your ex back into a healthy relationship. But what is the right mindset to get your ex back? When it comes to love, there are two types of people in the world. People with scarcity mentality. And people with an abundance mentality. If you have a scarcity mentality, you are always afraid of losing what you have because you think there is not enough. Fear is the biggest killer of relationships. The second most popular killers, Facebook and social media, are far behind. Fear has so many titles under its belt, no one can even come close to challenging him. These are some of the titles. Destroy relationships through insecurity. Destroy relationships due to jealousy. Destroy relationships through anger. Destroy relationships through heated arguments and lack of communication. Destroy relationships through need and desperation. People who have an abundance mentality believe that there is unlimited love and happiness in the world. They are not afraid of being left without love and happiness. But are these the type of people who go around breaking everyone's hearts because they are always looking for new people to love? The answer is no. In fact, People like this also act out of fear. They are afraid of commitment. They are afraid to face the deep psychological problems that make them fear commitment. But the key difference between people with an abundance mindset and a scarcity mindset is the fact that they don't act out of fear. Instead, they act out of love, honesty, and understanding. When you eliminate fear, it becomes quite easy to start and maintain a healthy relationship with the person of your choice. 2. Have the right tools and skills. You may have the right mindset, but it's not always enough to get your ex back. After all, you and your ex broke up for a reason. Something in your relationship is broken and you probably need the right tools and skills to fix it. Your old relationship is dead. If you and your ex get back together, it will be a new relationship. But it is very likely that the old problems you had in the relationship will arise again. And this is probably one of the biggest obstacles your ex has in mind. All of these doubts in your ex's mind can be addressed if you have the right tools and skills to show him that things will be different this time. These are some of the examples of tools and skills that typically make or break a relationship. Communication. It is an essential skill that everyone should learn. Each couple argues. But the difference between couples that thrive and those that fall apart is effective communication. If you can learn to communicate with your partner effectively, you can turn your new relationship with your ex into something beautiful. Self-confidence. Having self-confidence is one of the most attractive traits anyone can have. But many people lose trust during the course of a relationship. They begin to show a lack of confidence through insecurity, neediness, or desperation. If your ex lost attraction for you during the course of your relationship, it is most likely due to a lack of trust. Fortunately, you will be able to regain your confidence again. One of the quickest ways to do this is by getting therapy and accepting yourself. You can also choose to read some books on how to build self-confidence. For example, let's say your relationship deteriorated because you focused too much on your new business and didn't have time to spend with your ex. If that's the case, you need to show him that you can manage your time effectively and have set your priorities. You are an essential part of what we do on this channel. For this reason, we keep an eye on what you need, 
and if it is your desire to recover your ex correctly and effectively, you must click on the link below.